Good morning and welcome back to the Bulldog Morning News Show. The place for you to find out everything going on here at McCracken Middle School. I am Diego, a uh, 6th grader here at McCracken Middle School. Good morning McCracken. I'm Carson, a 6th grader here at McCracken Middle School. So let's get today started. I would like to invite you to stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance with me and please pause for a moment of silence afterwards. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Monday after school, the Anime Club will meet in Mr. Seidner's art room. The Paint and Module Building Club will meet after school on Tuesday in Mr. Seidner's room. Tonight, our boys and girls soccer teams will face off against Bluffton Middle. The game will be held over at Bluffton Middle and will begin at 5.30 with the girls soccer team followed by the boys soccer team game. This will be held over at Bluffton Middle tonight. On Thursday, they will have a rematch with Bluffton Middle over here at McCracken. So let's cheer on and support our soccer teams as they head off to face Bluffton Middle tonight. Tutoring will be taking place on Monday through Thursday afternoons. Students on campus should report to the cafeteria for a short snack right after school is over. Virtual students for after school tutoring should log on by 4 o'clock. Tutoring lasts until 5.30 each day. There is no tutoring on Fridays. Here are the sports updates for McCracken. Boys and girls soccer practice Monday through Thursday after school until 5.30 p.m. Boys baseball practice meets after school Monday through Thursday until 6 p.m. Parents should pick up students at the MC Riley Field. Girls softball practice meets after school Monday through Thursday and lasts until 5.45. Parents should pick up students at MC Riley Field. Track and field practice is after school Monday through Thursday until 5.15. Meet at the track. Good morning. Today we're going to talk about friendship. And one of my favorite quotes is from Eleanor Roosevelt. Many people will walk in and out of your life, but only true friends leave footprints in your heart. So I challenge you to be a true friend and leave positive footprints in their hearts. Say positive things, even when you may be mad at your friend about a particular situation. Your actions will show that you still care about them as a friend. It's time for another free book giveaway. Today, our book is called Finding Langston. This is also a Coretta Scott King honor book and winner for the Scott O'Dell Award for Historical Fiction. So you notice those two awards on the front of it. It's actually part of a trilogy and the latest book in the trilogy is fixing to come out soon. And I have added that to our library order, so hopefully towards the middle to end of April, we will have the other two books in the trilogy that will be in, in the Media Center. So let's get down to the book summary. And you may remember Langston Hughes that we, I think we had a special about him during our Black History Month, the famous poet. So this has a connection with Langston Hughes. When 11-year-old Langston's father moves them from their home in Alabama to Chicago's Bronzeville District, it feels like he's giving up everything he loves. It's 1946. Langston's mother has just died, and now they're leaving the rest of his family and friends. He misses everything. Grandma's Sunday suppers, the red dirt roads, and the magnolia trees his mother loved. In the city, they live in a small apartment surrounded by noise and chaos. It doesn't feel like a new start or a better life. At home, he's lonely, his father's always busy at work, and at school, he's bullied for being a country boy. But Langston's new home has one fantastic thing. Unlike the whites-only library in Alabama, the Chicago Public Library welcomes everyone. They are hiding out after school. Langston discovers another Langston, 
a poet whom he learns inspired his mother enough to name her only son after him. So if you would like to come read Finding Langston, we will have several copies available. Remember, I will meet you out front the Media Center right after the morning news, and any remaining copies will be put under the return book bin. Happy reading, everyone! Have a great day, Bulldogs. Make today awesome. We hope you have an, an awesome day. Remember to do whatever it takes.